Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering mechanics, statics. Uh, here, as promised, what we're going to do is begin to start to talk about vectors in three dimensions. Uh, all the problems that we've really done so far have been mostly dealing with vectors in two dimensions, which is the really the best way to start learning about what vectors are and learning the ideas that you can add the components of vectors, for instance, in the x direction and the y direction to get the resultant. Those concepts are best described in two dimensions because we can visualize them. But we really live in a three-dimensional world, and so if I'm building a structure, if I'm building a structure here and I have maybe several forces, then it's very likely that those forces are gonna go and exist in three dimensions. They're not gonna all be in the same plane. And so I need to be able to know how to handle vectors in three dimensions, and that's really what we're starting to do here. Um, I generally don't like to give you a lot of equations and formulas without practice and without examples because I just generally like to work uh, by example. And we will definitely be working by example here in the next couple of lessons. But in this lesson and in the next lesson, I'm going to share with you a lot of equations uh, and representations of vectors in three dimensions, um, kind of almost like in theory. We're going to talk about how to represent a vector in three dimensions and some very important relations uh, that are necessary, that we, we don't need them so much in 2D, but in 3D we're going to need them. So in this lesson and the next lesson, I'm going to share those with you. Uh, and so I want you to build that mental image of these very important equations. Every, everything that I share with you, every equation that I circle on the board is going to be an important one. So make sure you keep that in mind as we go forward as well. All right, so to begin that journey, let's review very quickly um, what we learned in two dimensions. So recall... And I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I want to just really quickly draw something on the board. Recall in two dimensions, uh, we said, okay, you have the x-axis here and you have the y-axis here. And then we also said, hey, you know, when we're talking about vectors, we call this the i-hat direction, the unit vector i, the unit vector which is pointed in the direction of x, we call that the unit vector i. And we call this the unit vector j. And then we said, hey, we can have any arbitrary vector pointed in any arbitrary direction. So we'll call it vector a, like this. And that vector, because it's in an xy plane like this, um, and because we know the angle here, we can find the projection of this vector along the x-axis. And we'll call that the component of the vector along x. And we can find the projection of this vector uh, in the y direction. We call that uh, a sub y. And because we can take any vector and find the projections along the different axes, we can represent any vector we want, any vector we want, as the x component acting in the i hat direction plus the y hat component uh, in the j direction. I know none of this is really new to you, but I want to kind of get your, your brain working because I'm going to take a direct parallel and extend what we've learned in two dimensions to three dimensions. So keep that in mind. Follow me over here. And in three dimensions, in general, we're going to have the following situation. Uh, and another thing I'll say is um, you need to start getting used to drawing vectors in three dimensions. So I'm going to show you how I draw everything, and you can choose to emulate that or you can choose to do it your own way. This is the way I find it very easy to draw vectors in, in three dimensions. You need to first get used to drawing your coordinate system. So let me draw almost like an XY plane, but you'll find out in a minute it's not really X and Y. And this one here needs to come out like this. Now already this should start looking like a three-dimensional situation. You can think of this as a wall, this as being the floor, and this as being another wall here. Now this guy down here is actually the X direction. And this guy over here is actually the Y direction. And this guy over here always going up is the Z direction. Is the 